Ladies and gentlemen, Rise of Kingdoms just revealed a brand new legendary leadership commander coming to the game. We have Philip II, a leadership versatility and support commander. And great news, we also have the skills here with actual numbers. We don't have to speculate. We actually get all the data. This is super exciting. So if you guys appreciate breaking news for Rise of Kingdoms, drop a thumbs up on the video. It really helps out the channel a ton. And consider subscribing because we are so close to 80,000 subscribers. So before we go anywhere let's take a look at the talent trees we have leadership versatility and support which means this is going to be an open field leadership commander now i know there were some rumors going around that we would be getting more open field leadership commanders coming soon this started around the time of the face to face with the developers and i mean here we have it we finally have a new open field leadership commander which is very exciting these commanders typically are great for like being secondary commanders and you can slap them pretty much anywhere so let's take a look at what philip ii is actually doing okay i thought this was pyrus prime for a second like when he first popped up i was like oh it's pyrus prime and then it, it's not anyway the active skill is a 1000 rage requirement aoe it says for the next two seconds up to five nearby allied or friendly troops including this commander's troop take 10 percent less damage and deal 20 percent more damage the the effects of this skill are multiplied by two for this commander's troop okay so he himself will get 20 percent less damage taken and deal 40 percent more damage for two seconds so i'm a little bit torn here first of all this is a massive buff right i suspect this is it's a circular aoe uh, this is going to be super supportive however it's for two seconds and he's going to be the secondary commander most likely right most may maybe he'll be the primary with somebody but i suspect he'll be a secondary because he's leadership I, i'm we'll have to wait and see okay but this is a very powerful buff for a very short amount of time and so we'll see how uh, the rest of his kit pans out here his second skill says while this commander's troop is on the map cavalry units gain th oh this is this is really cool cavalry units gain 35 percent attack infantry gain 35 percent defense and archer gain 35 percent health and all of them gain 20 percent march speed so if you actually run a fully mixed army you're going to get a lot of stats for all the different troop types but if you decide to just put him with a single troop type you can give them a ton of stats and march speed which is amazing this makes him very universal you can put him with pretty much anybody although if I look at the third skill here this looks like it is begging to be a mixed army because it says if this commander's troop contains at least two different unit types it gains 15 percent march speed and takes 15 percent less damage if their troop contains only one troop type it deals 30 percent more damage okay so uh, so if you specialize in a troop type here you deal 30 percent more damage and if you have a fully mixed army you're just faster and tankier slightly really interesting balance here really interesting this commander can be i mean i feel like you can kind of use him for anything no i mean like i don't know that's that's super interesting and siege units do count but it's worth noting that they are missing from the second skill here there's no additional bonus for siege troops so unfortunately siege probably are going to sit this one out um although who knows we'll talk about the implications of this commander in just a moment first let's go over the fourth skill it says whenever this commander's troop launches a basic attack it has a 10 percent chance to deal direct damage to up to three nearby enemy troops with a damage factor of 800 every additional target reduces the damage by 15 percent for each additional target and reduces their rage by 100 so this is an instant proc damage it is a rage debuff similar to what we see i think um is it nebu that has this or Tarek, or is it both i don't remember exactly something very similar to this i could be completely wrong and then finally the expertise says whenever this commander uses their active skill they have a 40 percent chance to use their active skill a second time okay this it all comes full circle here whenever the other commander in their troop uses their active skill they have a 20 percent chance to use their active skill a second time <laughs> what no way oh bro what okay 
I, I'm I'm a man this is a super interesting commander this is because here's the thing this does not scream like game breaking right this does not scream like oh my god this is a new meta we're not seeing a damage factor through the roof it's nothing like wild right but what we are seeing is a commander that is truly universal you can truly put this commander with anybody and give them a ton of stats a really powerful buff you're going to give whoever the commander is a chance to use their own active skill again okay can you imagine doing like a Joan of Arc prime primary with this dude secondary and then she casts her active skill a second time and then it's a 20 percent chance to cast it again a third time right like that would just be super super cool um I'm immediately thinking about um commanders such as Ragnar Prime whose active skill is already super strong although the only downside of that pairing is that they are, they're gonna have so much defense it's gonna make no sense at all right absolutely no sense at all um you could pair him with somebody I mean oh man I, I I don't know there's I'm, my mind is racing with all the different pairings that you could do uh you could easily pair this with I mean right now Cavalry are in a really bad spot right um and I feel like you know this is kind of it doesn't it goes kind of against what cavalry are doing um because it's just a supportive commander and it gives them a ton of attack which you don't necessarily need for for cavalry right like lots of them have a ton of attack but like man this is a super and look if you have one troop type you get just flat 30 percent more damage like everything here is super interesting on top of all of this however you could also strictly just pair him with trajan right you just do it when you just do the trajan pairing boom trajan's backed okay he's back and it's lit i mean if we jump in game here i, I feel like you can kind of pair him with so many different commanders it's like it's actually a gift and i'm super excited for this also if we look at the text here that was shared with philip the second he is coming next month okay so sometime in december so we don't know how we're gonna get him um we don't know anything else about him other than the fact that he's coming next month okay but i'm really thinking about this trajan pairing right because this is i mean if you have the chance to cast trajan's active skill again for free uh, he's even more supportive here but it's gonna keep him taking the more damage I don't know are we gonna see Trajan come back is this gonna be a return of Trajan I mean he's clearly supposed to be super supportive universal you get March speed you get stats you deal 30 percent more damage I feel like I feel like that's something that you definitely want to like capitalize on right right am I crazy 30 percent just flat 30 percent more damage and you have instant proc and a debuff and you're casting active skills again like man I, this this commander is super exciting because he's different but again he doesn't seem like he breaks the meta this doesn't seem like a commander that is like absolutely a must-have commander so i'm really interested to see how players use him in the open field when he does finally come to rise of kingdoms next month we don't know if he's going to be a wheel of fortune commander or a mightiest governor commander or an event commander however i will say historically that versatility commanders typically are wheel of fortune commanders right so this could be the wheel of fortune commander which begs the question um are we going to get a mightiest governor ranged commander are we going to get a mightiest governor leadership commander right I, I have no idea right but one thing is certain okay one thing is certain it's not cavalry and so I was completely wrong about that um but we'll we'll just have to wait and see I mean if we think back to the latest or the the last two ranged releases for engineering we saw the leadership commander be the mightiest governor commander right with Lapu Lapu and we also saw Hera come to the mightiest governor event right those were mightiest governor commanders here we see uh, the wheel of fortune commander is the leadership commander so that either tells me that this upcoming release will be two leadership commanders or they're just changing up the narrative and they're throwing out the uh event commander right like we have Ragnar Prime now is the event commander so we're not going to have like a repeat of Margaret or a repeat of Gajamata right perhaps they just release one leadership one ranged the range will be mightiest governor maybe I have no idea but this is we have not seen a new wheel of fortune open field leadership commander in a very long time and this might not be a wheel of fortune commander right I think it's likely because of the talent trees 
but at this point they're just doing whatever they want but if we really think about what commanders you might pair Philip II with I mean we look at Liu Che right Liu Che already has some great pairings in the form of William Wallace in the form of Alexander the Great I don't know if you would really do anything other than what you've already been doing you've got CPO even you know we've got uh Ragnar right like there's so many good pairings for Liu Che I don't think it necessarily makes sense to make you this would basically turn your Liu Che or anybody you pair him with into a more supportive commander right you have the primary is whoever has a specialized troop type the second there would be Philip the second who is more universal and he basically turns that commander into a more supportive commander um he of course he has the three target instant proc damage on his skill the 800 which is really nice uh, but really he's more supportive and so you know would you pair him like for example did you get Leong probably not right probably not we've I mean we've got so much health here and if you gave the extra 35 percent health that you get from Philip the second you would have an insane amount of health on you Leong plus a lot of March speed um so I mean maybe right maybe you could do that and then that would free up your um your Herman to pair with somebody like YSG or Ashurbanipal or something like that but like I don't know I feel like that would be severely like discounting or or making uh Zhuge Liang deal maybe less that the, the Zhuge Liang army would deal less army uh, would deal less damage sorry um if you did that so I mean I don't know maybe this is like it's it's just so bizarre because all of the meta commanders are for dealing damage right debuffs uh and, and AoE and so if you just if you choose to pair Philip up the second with any of these commanders then what you're effectively doing is making half of that army uh you know not focus on damage but instead focus on being supportive and so you'd have to do the math and do the testing to see is that you know slot more valuable as a support like is Philip the second doing enough to compensate for the fact that he is taking the place of a DPS commander right because for this it's only two seconds but it is doubled for your own commander right so that would be really really nice um but if we look at the rest of this stuff here it's like you know this is just stats which it's a ton of stats ton of mark speed amazing but like if we look at everything else here um this is flat 30 percent all damage right very good stuff but it's it's nothing like game breaking I don't think um and you know the instant proc is good but I don't think it compensates for the fact that there's no damage on the active skill necessarily nice rage reduction here it's AoE rage reduction by the way so that's really cool so I mean look like this is I, I love the expertise by the way but like I can't I can't and I could be completely wrong about this but I can't imagine him like pumping out the damage and like truly activating the uh, primary commander to deal like an insane amount of extra damage right so when I think about who you pair him with it becomes really challenging um maybe this is a CPO pairing possibly because CPO already has the debuff he already has a lot of damage he's got March speed he's got a ton of stats this is going to give him a ton of defense which by the way he actually has no defense so this would make the stat kit or the kit on CPO completely well-rounded right I mean there's an opportunity right there if you wanted to do something like Ragnar with CPO or sorry Ragnar Liu Che primary Ragnar secondary and then CPO with Philip maybe you could run that as two but like then you're benching what you're benching Alex you're benching Guan you're benching William Wallace like I don't think any of these like they just deal so much damage and this isn't to say that Philip is bad this is to say that like these commanders deal so much damage that it's like Philip's the supportive nature of Philip has to be so good that that it compensates for that same thing even like with benching William right if you wanted to do like a you know Huo Joan and then a Nevsky Philip um you're gonna get a ton of attack here for your Nevsky which ne you don't necessarily need I mean it's not it's not terrible right like if we look at you know what cavalry commanders need extra attack Nevsky is the only one that comes to mind right because you've got a ton of attack on Huo you have a ton of attack on uh William and you've got a, a, de a little bit of attack here on um Joan but really she doesn't she's gonna be pair with somebody else obviously with Huo or something right so I mean Nevsky he's got 20 percent attack but he gets 35 percent more he gets March speed um maybe you could consider running the uh the Nevsky Philip combo and make it just a super supportive army that's something you could try for sure but like I don't know I'm thinking about who else you could possibly run him with and I'm really coming up short I mean I guess I guess you could do like the Philip primary Mehmed secondary right is that insane because this because that would give um first of all then you could run three different troop types you could just throw whatever you want in there it would give a ton of March speed to or well 20 percent March speed to, to Mehmed who has historically none but you've got a ton of extra skill damage here on his relic and here um which would be pretty much wasted on Philip so like the synergy there isn't perfect there is a an argument to be made for the Mulan to make like a truly 
um a truly actually is this it is Mulan the pairing is Mulan the pairing because they're both super supportive they both are I mean leadership commanders right of course one skill here is completely useless on Mulan but you get I mean you get a ton of uh, you know benefits and overlaps here between the two commanders they're both buffing everything that could be the play I think you might do Philip primary Mulan secondary that would be like the most supportive March in the game honestly if I think about it or the Trajan with Philip as well right so yeah that is really interesting stuff here I think truthfully though the best pairing for Philip the second might not even be in the game yet or could we do Honda primary with um with Philip the second secondary right he gains a ton of attack he gains a bunch of March speed he has damn additional damage factor additional more damage right troop capacity I mean Honda's feeling a little bit old these days and the skill tree doesn't necessarily work that well with um Philip but you can't really run Honda secondary because he take he does 50 percent less damage here right uh, I mean you can people do that right but you would be really leaving a lot on the bench there especially you know he, I mean he has a high rage requirement so maybe you would run him secondary I'm not really sure but that is definitely something to consider but as far as like who else you could run I mean that's kind of it right I don't know very many others I think the truth is I think the pairing is either Trajan or Mulan if you want a truly supportive leadership commander um or pairing and then or I guess maybe Ethelfled right like do we bring back Ethelfled do we bring back her debuff I mean her kit is so old these days that I just feel like it's not possible to use her but maybe right maybe Philip and Ethelfled combined is like the play but really I think it's it's possible that if the other commander that comes with Philip let's argue with the mighty discovery commander let's argue that that is also a leadership commander then that might be the best pairing right like that could just be it um maybe it's another leadership garrison who knows um or it could just be a ranged commander and be completely like separated right it could be completely different I have no idea guys anyway guys I'm super excited for Philip the second let me know what you guys think about him in the comment section below what commanders do you think he is going to pair super well with I think his kit is extremely versatile of course he doesn't seem game breaking but he seems like somebody that you can just kind of slap in any army to be supportive uh be tanky and cast your active skill again I mean this is this feels like a a must expertise to be honest with you guys like I mean if we're thinking about like his his active skill it's it's decent but it's only for two seconds right it's only for two seconds and so if you do like a five five one one I don't know if that's enough five 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 one is better because you have extra damage but like really and this and this four skill is good but like the damage factor is already on the low end um so you would need it to be maxed uh you would need the skill to be maxed for it to be really good but it, it's also I mean this is a three target AoE effectively right which is just man I am I'm super excited to see how this commander performs in the field how people use him um again this is uh, from what I can see I don't know if it's a must-have commander and so if you wanted to save your sculptures even longer then this is great news for you but anyway I want to know what you guys think about uh, Philip the second in the comment section below let me know what you're thinking about best pairings do you think this is return of Trajan do you think we're gonna get another leadership commander that's gonna make him pop off even more in the field for the potential mightiest governor event let me know what you guys think in the comments section below and while you're down there again drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out to the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and consider subscribing to the channel we are so close to 80 000 subscribers it's actually insane double check you might think yourself but you're not so just go down there hit subscribe and click the bell if you want to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace